when you when you eat, your your body will pump out um, in response um, glucose. So you just put um, food into your body; it's meta metabolized, and you know your liver creates glucose. And that your liver is your is basically your storehouse and your your factory for glucose. Your body operates on glucose, and so um, as you eat, your food is metabolized down, and glucose is produced. So it gets pumped out into your bloodstream, and so your 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 cells and your and the rest of your body basically has energy um, to operate. So in response to that glucose, um, your body will pump out insulin. Also, it's trying to maintain a balance. You know, we're we're created to to be in balance, and um, when you have too much glucose in your system then your body's pumping out too much insulin in response to that. So there's always this um, war in your system to kind of reach a balance again. And so um, you know, it's a pretty easy way to think about it. When you can picture the roller coaster, it's much easier to, to understand. When we're, we're looking at reducing weight and maintaining a healthier body weight, protein does a much better job um, of um, not spiking your insulin. So. Um, it has, uh, you know, lower glycemic value in your in your body, and basically, it will not, you know, cause your body to your blood glucose level to to rise um, rapidly as as carbs do. Um, you still, you know, calorie wise, um, you um, one gram of protein is four um, four calories, and one gram of carbohydrates is four calories. Where we get into trouble is when we add fat into the mix. Fat is nine calories per gram, and alcohol is seven calories per gram. You can see how um, it's very easy to accumulate a, a lot more calories in a meal. Um, you know when you're you're not watching your fats and you're not watching your alcohol.